PTR 32 on the table and that means only one thing uh, yes this is going to be kind of extensive a review on the, this rifle this is 7.62 by 39 as you can see AK magazine inside the chamber and uh, I'll tell you that uh, this rifle is with me for more than a couple years so uh, I have passed 2000 rounds on it uh, so it wasn't put to any 5000 rounds test or anything uh, on that note because uh, this is a delayed rollers setup blowback system uh, it's kind of funky how that recoil works uh, so you basically pull the trigger and then you have that recoil impulse coming back your way uh, from that bolt carrier traveling on the rollers uh, and rails inside the receiver and uh, hitting the recoil spring. Uh, it, it, and it is delayed, uh, really, you can feel it. Like you expect that, that recoil to come right after you and it's not there and then it's like, oh, where this impulse come from? Uh, still very soft recoil. Uh, you're not going to have any shoulder pains or anything uh, from that 7.62 by 30. Of course, the PTR makes those on the HK uh, template, the G3 rifles, and uh, they're more popular in 7.62 by 51 uh, NATO cartridge. But this is the 39 uh, version, and it functions really, really well. Now, strength of this rifle is absolutely inside the accuracy. If we're talking about the most accurate 7.62 by 39 I have used rifle this is right there this is probably one of the most accurate 7.62 by 39 rifles I have seen Okay, so we went from 400 to 100. I was kind of slow because I want you guys to see the hits through that scope. And I know for 400 probably we cannot see it very well, but for a 300 to 100 you should have a good picture. But you could see my hold because of the wind at 400, at 300. That goes back to the 7.62 by 39. This is a rather slow cartridge and a very low BC on the bullet. So you have to adjust uh, for the weather conditions. Now we're going to try to uh, repeat from 100 all the way to 400. We'll see what's going to happen. Hopefully wind won't change. So let's go. Well, I'm ready. Ready. Alright, I had for sure two hits at 400, I could see the plate move, I forgot to slow down <laughs> at the 200, but hopefully you guys could uh, see the hits, looks good to me, let's see what we got on that 400 plate. And this is with basically a Wolf Hollow Points ammo. Uh, I run out of the Barnow full metal jacket ammo, I'll get it and I'll check what that ammo can do with me, uh, for me, but I'll tell you right now with 762 by 39 hollow points wolf, this rifle shoots right around one MOA. Yes, you hear me correctly, this rifle shoots in the neighborhood of the one MOA. Uh, it, it is between one and one, below one and a half. It's a sub one and a half MOA. It's not sub one MOA, uh, gun, not with that ammo. Um, but I have a feeling that if you will uh, find a really consistent and the quality ammo, it will take you there. And this is with the one to six ACSS scope, 
which is calibrated for a 7.62 by 39 in this uh, setup. And I'll tell you, this jellies perfectly. Uh, I, I mean, it's absolutely a pleasure to shoot, pleasure to use. You can see the footage. Uh, I did the drill went between 100 to 400 and then uh, through all the targets, 100, 200, 300, 400 yards. And then I went back 400, 300, 200 and 100. You can see the wind holds I had uh, at the 400. Uh, on, on the second run, I think I overcompensated a little bit, uh, but because the wind is changing and I was shooting without the spotter and past 300s, as you know, guys, we have to start paying attention to what's happening at uh, three, be, be, you know, past 300 with in regards to the wind holes on the 7.62 by 39. But I had this rifle for a long time and uh, I will tell you it functions and cycles perfectly fine. It's extremely dirty. Uh, this gun runs dirty. You're going to have tons of gunk. Uh, I will take it apart for you and you will see what's happening inside. It's extremely simple to take apart. Just pull out those takedown pins. You're going to remove basically the recoil spring with the buttstock. Uh, there are two screws inside right here and you can attach the different buttstocks uh, when you will exchange that portion and you can have whatever you want. I made made up a quick you know field uh, grade <laughs> cheek riser for the scope uh, but you can have uh, different types of the buttstocks uh, if you want to. Now we're going to pull out basically the trigger mechanism with uh, you know the pistol grip. This trigger is kind of heavy. I wish that it would come with the better trigger. This is another point. I know you can fine tune it. You can fine tune this and, and make it a little bit softer, but it's a heavy, hard pull, just like military standard triggers of those. But I'll tell you, you can fine tune it and you can probably get even better results uh, on that uh, rifle than this. Now, let me pull out, you guys will see, Look, clean hands, right? And, and I'm doing this on purpose. Clean hands and I'm pulling out the bolt carrier and, and this thing is just nasty. It's absolutely all dirty and, and everything. And it goes, the gunk, now here I got the fresh rounds in the magazine, but when you're shooting, you, you're going to have tons of gunk uh, inside the magazine too. That being said, that all dirt blowing back doesn't affect the performance. The rifle keeps cycling and keeps pushing and feeding those rounds uh, forward. It loves the uh, Magpul magazines. It absolutely loves the Magpul magazines. Works with surplus magazines, but I found some surplus magazines do not jelly very well with this rifle and I had some feeding issues. Never had a problem with the Magpul Max. Uh, so that's on a side note. But other than this, as I said, this is pretty much it. As you can see, uh, the secret to the accuracy is this is you have the optic rail and everything on the top in line with the barrel. This is a bull uh, barrel, 16 inches. Rifle is heavy, as I, uh, I I think I said that at the beginning. It's around nine and a half pounds without any optic or suppressor on it. So uh, can you uh, can you take it? for the big igloo <laughs> if you want to uh, sure you can run it uh, it's it's not as uh, intuitive uh, for the CQB drills and workouts but as you can see you you can still do some damage with it uh, I honestly think so that the strength of this rifle is uh, in extended uh, range shooting and it will deliver uh, I think it's a perfect uh, hog gun to go against the pigs and uh, you know do uh, do some some uh, animal control when you have to. It will be perfect uh, deer gun uh, if uh, if uh, your state allows uh, you know using uh, the uh, magazines uh, with the higher capacity <laughs> and things like this. But it, it absolutely it is strength of this rifle is within the accuracy, and I'm blown away uh, by PTR. Uh, we never really had the chance to have a, a closer look uh, uh, for that rifle uh, when, uh, when uh, you know, I, I had it at the beginning. We just did the one episode with Paul and that was pretty much it. But I, I think uh, that this rifle deserves a second look. And uh, if you're looking for the 7.62 by 39 rifle for hunting, 
Uh, this is a strong candidate. They run, they are not that expensive, guys. I know the MSRP price is around uh, 1400 1350 or something like this, but you can get them like from Atlantic Firearms. I think I've seen it just recently. They were slightly over $1,100. And as you know, uh, for the 762 by 39 uh, rifle, which is actually accurate as hell, uh, that's a good price. And uh, this is uh, based on the HK uh, G3 design. What else you want, right? And as I said, if you don't like that polymer setup, you can get the wood handguards or uh, it will uh, interchange and you can set up any way you want it. One note about the iron sights. This is a classic iron sight setup uh, from the G3. You will need to have the tools designed for uh, setting up the drum in the back from uh, HK. And they are uh, these, that tool for the adjusting iron sights is extremely expensive, like 76 bucks. Screw that, find, uh, you can find them on Amazon and they are like less than 30 bucks. So get that because you're going to need it to set up the iron sights. Other than this, uh, as I said, uh, ACSS 1 to 6 scope, perfect setup, absolutely perfect setup uh, for this uh, type of the rifle. Uh, I will spend a little bit more time with it when I will get uh, more ammo, uh, barnal ammo, and we'll come back to it. Uh, but you can see what this rifle can do. Uh, absolutely impressive, I like it. Uh, it delivers the punch, and I think that the PTR did outstanding job keeping the G3 legend alive. Even my dog likes it. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer it. As always, I'll be watching uh, the post for at least uh, 24 to 48 hours on that video. Also, please remember to hit that subscribe button uh, to keep following our YouTube channel and uh, hit the notification bell. Do not miss any notifications from AK Operators Union. Thanks for watching.